Yo, what's going on guys? Sabai from Sabai Cartel right here, uh, bringing you more Strider gameplay in the background. But, I'm going to be talking about uh, my favorite Call of Duty and sort of uh, what makes a Call of Duty my favorite. Uh, a lot of people um, always say, you know, you know, right out of the bat, that uh, their favorite Call of Duty is Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2. And then we sort of take it back, because then we start thinking about it. Is Call of Duty 4 my favorite Call of Duty? Is Modern Warfare 2 my favorite Call of Duty? What made this game special? What are the pros and cons that, th that these games had? Am I really sure that this is my favorite Call of Duty game? So, you know, then we start putting a lot of thought, uh, you know, into like what's our real favorite Call of Duty? You know, what's the Call of Duty that we love the most? And, you know, then we pretty much sort of come up with a conclusion or we come up with uh, pretty much the answer that uh, sometimes I would pick. Uh, I like all the Call of Duties because they all have uh, their pros and cons. Now, honestly, for me, what makes uh, a good Call of Duty is it's just a couple of things. Number one, the maps. You know, uh, if the maps are not enjoyable to play in, uh, sort of like um, I'm gonna say Derail from Modern Warfare 2, or most of the maps in Ghost. You know, if uh, I don't like the maps. Honestly, I'm not really going to be having that much fun with the game, which leads me to my, you know, my second statement. I have to have fun with the game. You know, if it's a, if it's a Call of Duty game that uh, I have no fun with, then obviously, you know, common sense, it's not going to be my uh, favorite Call of Duty. Uh, so one, the maps. Two, if uh, if I have fun with the game, and uh, three, you know, the guns. The guns play a huge part in Call of Duty. Uh, there has to be variety. You know what I mean? Uh, Modern Warfare 3 is my favorite Call of Duty. A lot of people agree with me. A lot of people disagree with me. But like I said, it's my favorite Call of Duty. It's not yours. Uh, but anyways. So yeah, Modern Warfare 3 is my favorite Call of Duty because of the variety of guns that it had. You know, G36, AK-47, CM-901. PM9, MP5, UMP45, USAS12, Dragonov, AS50, a great variety of guns, M60, I could pretty much just go on and rant about Modern Warfare 3 for the whole day, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. My point is, um, I had a lot of fun in Modern Warfare 3 pretty much just using all the guns, you know, uh, I'm actually working right now towards getting all of the guns gold in uh, Modern Warfare 3 and yeah I'm almost reaching that goal uh, but anyways my point the guns if there's only for example in the submachine gun category if there's only two SMGs that are good and out of eight assault rifles there's only two that are good assault rifles and out of uh, I don't know five light machine guns there's only two light machine guns that are good you know that doesn't really add variety to the game in my opinion and it sort of makes the game boring as I'm just gonna be using the same guns over and over and over again. Uh, in Modern Warfare 3 the PM9 uh, submachine gun uh, not a lot of people use that submachine gun uh, because it had extremely uh, an, ex an extremely amount of recoil everybody pretty much said that that submachine gun was the worst but I was like Okay, I have tried the UMP-45, the MP-7, I pretty much just used every submachine gun except the PM-9. This submachine gun has to be good, let's try it out. And then I found out that the gun with extended mags and rapid fire and steady aim is just a complete beast. I was the first one in my friend list to make the PM-9 mainstream before it got patched and you know, it got reduced recoil and you know, all that stuff. My point is, again, uh, there has to be a variety in the guns. It just can't be that submachine gun that's really good or, you know, that assault rifle that's really good. There has to be variety. So in the long run of the game, I can experiment with new guns and, you know, new, uh, you know, new, new tactics, new attachment, all that stuff. Now, number four. Uh, you know, the, the fourth thing that sort of makes a, a Call of Duty my favorite. The progression, and the progression is pretty much honestly one of the most important things to me uh, in a Call of Duty. Honestly, I really didn't like the squad point system in Ghost, and I didn't like the card point system in uh, Black Ops 1. 
The reason for that is, is because, you know, let's take Modern Warfare 2 for example. When you would have the Fall Camel and the Red Tiger Camel, you would brag to your friends about it. You would be like, look, I got 250 headshots, guess what, I got the Fall Camel. Do you have the Fall Camel? No, because you fucking suck at getting headshots. You know, it's these little sort of uh, bragging rights that you get. You know, when you unlock a certain attachment for a gun, or when you unlock all of the attachment or all of the camos uh, for a gun. It's these sort of uh, achievements, you know, that make you feel like a badass in Call of Duty. And I feel like, you know, if you have the squad points and you don't have to work towards the attachment, that just makes the game less fun and less interesting. So definitely the, you know, the creator class system, I guess, uh, uh, or, you know, the progression, however you want to call it. That's definitely one of uh, the, the small things, you know, that matter uh, for me, you know, for a Call of Duty to be my favorite. If it has a good creator class system, if I have to work for my stuff. Now, the last and final thing that makes a Call of Duty my favorite. The customization. And by customization, I don't mean, you know, that I can customize my soldiers to the max, like in Ghost. Uh, by customization, I mean bragging rights. Bragging rights customization. Like the titles and emblems in Modern Warfare 3 slash Modern Warfare 2. Like, for example, the title to, uh, you know, kill somebody before they earn a 10 kill streak, Or the title to get 1,000 headshots with uh, a specific gun. Or get 2,500 kills with a specific gun. You want to show off to your friends and to people in the lobbies that you're a complete badass. And that you earned those titles. So you're pretty much bragging, you know, with the call sign system that uh, Black Ops uh, 1 had. You know, honestly, I don't really see bragging rights there. You know, the, it's just a call sign uh, that you got for doing something. Uh, it doesn't even say anything. I don't know. Honestly, it didn't really make sense to me. It's all about the ambulance and titles. Uh, for me, that's what gives you true bragging rights. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed yet, my favorite Call of Duty is Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I hope to see a lot of the things that I like about Modern Warfare 3 in Advanced Warfare. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I think Advanced Warfare might be my next new favorite Call of Duty. But we will see. So anyways, like the video if you enjoyed guys. Share with your friends. Subscribe to join the Salvaje Cartel today. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.